This is the Russian dynamite Masha Slamovich. Becca here. This is not America's sweetheart Davian. It's Billy Starks and the super fly guy Trayvon Jordan. This is the fly side fly Jalen Brandon. Hardcore princess Jules Malone. Hi there, this is the bubblegum princess Alexia Nicole. This is the Brazilian Wonder Woman Christy Jane. This is the baddest black belt Chennai Kai. This is Kid Bandit. The smash hit Joel Bateman. This is Robin Renegade. Cody Hawk. Brutal Bob Evans. And you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment, one of my favorite podcasts in the whole wide world. This is pro wrestling's finest freshwater fisherman, Sebastian Seabass Finn, and you're listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. It's Wrestling With Entertainment, the only audio experience on the web today. The trusted choice for interviewing all your favorite wrestlers every Tuesday and Wednesday on YouTube. Castbox. Sponsored by Rogue Energy and Player One Coffee. I'm, of course, your host, James J. And it is a great day for wrestling, because we are wrestling with... Sebastian Seabass Finn! Thank you for the introduction. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Uh, really happy to be here. Uh, I'm happy to be back. Um, yeah, I'm doing great. Can't complain. Yeah, and it's been, uh, it has been a, a spell since we've had you on, and it seems like you're doing fantastic things on the indies. Yeah, um, wish I was a little busier than I was, um, but, um, I think the work that I am doing, I'm, I'm doing really well. Um, uh, it's March now, and I only have, I believe, three, uh, Three shows coming up, uh, March 15th, I'm with Chaotic Wrestling, uh, where they will have Cold Fury 22, that's in Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, on the 16th, I will be at Rad Pro Wrestling in Amesbury, Massachusetts. And uh, March 29th, I'll be back at Chaotic Wrestling in Everett, Massachusetts. All right, and where can we find all things CBAS on social media? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at CBassFin. All right. And it's still a great day for wrestling because we are wrestling with CBassFin versus Bateman from the New Japan Pro Wrestling Academy Showcase. Mm. Um, it was uh, late last year, I believe October, uh, maybe September. Yeah. Uh... Actually, I got it on my phone. If I go back, it should be... Was it <clears> October 11th? October 7th. You were 7th. four days off. Well, I was close. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So, to our audience, um, we want you to um, get out your Betamaxes, get out your VHSs, your DVDs, pull up the network, or more accurately, go to YouTube, um, type in New Japan uh, Dojo Showcase. Um, it should pop up, uh, 2023. Um, or you could just go to the description of the video below, but on YouTube and CastBox, click that link. A new tab will appear on whatever device you're on. Um, you want to go to 55 minutes and 11 seconds into the video. Um, set that... Uh, set down there and when i say three two one on one press play are you ready i think so all right three two one and here we go now first and foremost i'm curious when was the last what, time you um you've seen this match um I think I watched it maybe a couple of weeks after it came out. Um, and actually, I think we actually had access to it uh, the week after um, it happened. So um, at the uh, LA Dojo, um, myself and Fred Rosser and a bunch of other my classmates, we all kind of sat down and watched each other's matches and kind of went over like just, just some feedback and critiques and stuff. So um I, I think I've probably watched it again um, since since then and now. Um, 
but it's definitely been uh definitely been some months i mean what was that experience like you know to um you know training in the la dojo um it was really cool um that's actually where this match takes place it's at the uh la dojo in carson california um so that was the ring i trained in uh, that was the room i walked into twice a week um and uh it was really cool it was you know i was able to learn a different style um and train under the learning tree of fred rosser who wrestled for wwe for a handful of years and um has uh you know, gotten a lot of knowledge from, from his time there. Um, and then has also worked for, for new Japan, um, in the United States. And then also of course, uh, receiving some training from Kushida as well, who's a world renowned performer also wrestled for WB for a time. Um, but it's just, a, a an amazing wrestler, an amazing mind. Um, so it was really cool. I really also appreciated training with different people that I, have had never met and, you know, kind of had to, you know, get real close with them for, uh, 12 weeks and, uh, you know, work hard with this, you know, 10 to 12, um, different people. Um, so it was, it was, it was really cool. Um, it's definitely an, ex an experience, uh, that I, I don't regret taking up and I hope to go back, uh, go back, um, sometime in the near future, either to train at the dojo or, um, just, stop by for a visit, whatever it may be. Oh, yeah. Now, when Bateman was uh, coming out, um, just a curiosity, what was going through your head when he was coming out? Um, I was pretty locked in uh, in this match. I was very focused. Um, you know, I, I do think that Bateman has, uh, you know, from an outside perspective, an intimidating presence. Yes. Um, an intimidating look, for sure. He's a tall man. Um, scary looking man, but at the time, um, I was, I was pretty locked in. I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit now that I think about it, but, um, I was very focused. When do you, um, find out that you're wrestling Bateman? Um, I didn't find out until it was announced on like social media and the internet. Um, I had some friends that knew um, and like said like, Oh, do you want me to tell you? Like, it's going to be really cool. And I was like, no, um, like, I don't, I don't want to know. Um, I just kind of want to, you know, wait, wait and see what, what happens. And I love that Gator roll you did um, a couple of seconds ago. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I like that too. Kind of, I know it's not intentional, but it kind of reminds me of uh, Brody Lee in a uh, sense. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Now, what kind of, what does it kind of mean to you to get a singles match against, you know, a high-profile name like uh, Bateman? Uh, it really meant a lot to me. Um, I would love to wrestle Bateman again if I had the chance. Um, definitely some things I would do differently in this match, <laughs> um, <laughs> as we'll see later. But uh, it, it meant a lot to me to be offered that uh, singles match at the showcase. You know, not a lot of people got uh, you know singles matches. Some of them did. Some of them, uh, you know, my friend Sean Vegan Keegan was thrown into a uh, fatal four way with some pretty heavy implications. Um, oh yeah. So, uh, you know, it was it was cool um, to have a, a singles match in a New Japan ring. Um, I don't know if I'll ever have an experience like that again. I hope to someday. Um, you know, against Bateman again, that'd be great. Maybe against Fred Rosser or even Kushida or Rocky Romero. Um, so, we'll uh, see what happens in the future. Oh yeah. Oh, things are very technical right now. Um, until, you know, you get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does not feel good at all. Now, uh, you know, the kind of this first half of the match, 
you know, it was pretty technical. Um, and then, you know, as we're getting into the second half, it's kind of getting a little bit more, um, as New, New Japan would call it, strong style. Um, is there one way you wait for a little bit more towards, or do you like that balance of doing the technical stuff and the, um, um, the strong style as well? Um, hard to say. I, uh, you know, it's been about, let's see, November or October, November, December, January, February, my, almost five months, um, since I've had this match. And I feel like even from them, um, I've improved so much, um, like f- just, just from this match alone. Um, as you can see here, you know, um, after Baton kind of blast that shot on me, you know, after a little bit, I kind of get back into the holds and stuff. But uh, I, I definitely do like the tactical aspect. You know, I uh, did amateur wrestling for 15 years. So um, I'm a fan of, uh, you know, good technical wrestling. Um, but uh, since this match, I've kind of started to get uh, a little nasty and down and dirty sometimes and, you know, dwell into the, the uh, uh, style that is uh, Japanese strong style. And getting a little nasty right there with the double fist hook. Yeah, yeah, that was a. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll ever get in a position like that again. Bateman is a very, uh, very unique performer, a very unique athlete. From what you're saying, it kind of seems like Bateman left a big impression on you. Absolutely. Um, you know, just his work in this match. Um, you know, says, you know, says a lot, um, especially against somebody like me. Um, but, you know, I, I also did my research before this match and, you know, watched some of his other stuff. And, um, I really enjoy watching Bateman and, uh, I wish him nothing but the absolute best. And right now, um, this is, as Biggie would say, two men slapping me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah also another thing i didn't expect to happen in this match but uh it happened and i do encourage people to turn on the audio for this p- person um for because um these slaps that user you're giving and receiving they are very audible yeah uh i don't mean to brag but i, I think i have a pretty mean chop um, considering how red Bateman's chest gets, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was definitely redder, and then he uh, also just chopped me in the throat there. That did not feel good. There's uh, no die slapping, uh, Taylor. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, you mentioned, you know, you, um, Sean Keegan vegan, um, vegan Keegan, my apologies, um, was there as well. Um, does it help to have somebody that you know um, be there with you, um, supporting each other? I definitely think so. Um, you know, Sean and I have become so much closer, um, you know, after this experience where we were pretty much living with each other for 12 weeks, three months, and we lived about you know, in this tiny, like, you know, the, the, I'll, 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 I said it to my classmates at the, at the LA dojo and I'll say it to you, um, our house, uh, was smaller than the ring. Um, <laughs> we did not have a lot of space. Um, we slept about two feet away from each other. Uh, I was on a, a bed. He was on like a pullout trundle mattress that was under the bed. Um, so it was, uh, you know, close, close quarters. Um, we were with each other just about every day, every second. Um, and, uh, you know, we've, we've gotten a lot closer. You know, now we're, we're starting to do some, some tag team stuff and chaotic. And, um, you know, we've just, we've just become really close. And um, it, it, it definitely helped having somebody, you know, from my area, from my school, um, to come with me and share this experience. You know, nobody can ever take that away from us. If only he ate fish, though. Yeah, 
I mean, I can't blame them though. I know some people don't uh, don't like fish a lot, so yeah, you know, I get it. I mean, yeah. and you know, you make the joke that um, you know, the place you were staying was smaller than the ring, um, which I absolutely yeah. believe. Um, I can't yeah. imagine that the rent wasn't monumental for it as well. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty expensive for uh, what we were living in, but... Yeah. L.A. rents. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Now, um, I do have to ask, does it hit different wrestling in a New Japan ring rather than just, you know, any other ring? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, just looking at the, the ring itself and the colors and the canvas, um, and it's just a, you know, I will say, you know, I've been in a handful of rings. It's a very well-built ring. Um, but, uh, you know, it, I, I will say it definitely gets different, you know, like, don't get me wrong. I love my ring at home at the Pro Wrestling Academy. Uh, we have two rings there. Like, I love both of them, but... That ring, the New Japan ring, has a, a special place in my heart. I'm assuming you uh, you built that ring uh, before the show? Uh, nope, that ring stayed up, which was very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, didn't have to uh, didn't have to build that one, thankfully. Great chops. Double oh, thank chops. you. Yeah, it's like a uh, kind of like a fishtail. Yeah. Going. What a fantastic, almost German su suplex. <laughs> yeah, I get it later, but uh, they even have me scouted here. Hey, he's a uh, he's a vet. Um, he's not a vet for no reason. Yeah, yeah, he's he's been around for a while, and it shows in this match. I love the ricochet. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Here we go. German suplex. And, you know, usually, you know, when you wrestle a vet, um, you know, at the caliber of um, Bateman, um, you don't necessarily get that much offense in. Um, it's fantastic that, you know, you were able to have such a back and forward match yeah no i definitely didn't expect uh, expect that either Oof, that elbow hit me right in the face and the kick out <laughs> yeah that i <laughs> that uh that brain buster will haunt me forever <laughs> I would imagine that elbow would be would be the thing that haunts you. I honestly think I was already out at that point, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean the, the elbow probably hurt too. But the brain buster, just a little more. I mean, you win a, a roughly like twelve minutes in change in this match. Um, yeah. What did it mean to you to get so much time in the New Japan ring? Uh, it meant a lot. Bateman with the acknowledgement there as well. It meant a lot. Um, like I said, I, I fully support Bateman, and I'm a huge fan of him, um, especially after this match. Um, you know, to to have that uh, that experience and that that match in the New Japan ring was was really special, um, and I, I hope to find myself back in a new Japan ring someday. Absolutely. And hopefully that will be coming up um, sooner rather than later. Like you yeah. said, it, it wasn't that long ago you had that match. No, it wasn't that long at all. Um, like I said, it was in November, which was only four or five months ago. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Now, 
uh, since uh, that will conclude um, the watch along, um, I do encourage uh, people to watch the rest of that um, that show. Definitely uh, give the match with um, Sean, Vegan, Tegan a look as well. Um, and since we are nearing the conclusion of this episode as a whole, I do have to ask one more question. And that being, since the last time we've talked, have you ever had a conversation with a stranger in a supermarket about Darby Allen? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I have yet to yet to have that kind of conversation. Um, if I go to the grocery store, I'll try to think about it. Think about having that. It's like, hey, ever seen this guy before? <laughs> if you do, record it, send it to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> and still, that is the correct answer. <laughs> that will conclude um, this watch along. Thank you so much for coming back on and uh, doing this with me, Finn. Of course. Thank you for having me. And once again, where can we find? Uh, all things C Bass Fin on social media and your merchandise. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter or X at C Bass Fin, Instagram uh, at C Bass Fin as well. Um, I think I said last time in this interview I was going to try to get uh, a website for merch. I still don't have that yet. I'm working on it. Um, I'm very low on all my merch, um, uh, my inventory. I got to get some new stuff. Um, Which is um, a good all my merch. Which is a good problem to have. Yes, yes, it is definitely a good problem to have. Um, uh, but you can find me this month, uh, March 15th, at Chaotic Wrestling um, in Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, March 16th, I will be at Rad Pro Wrestling in Amesbury. Uh, and then I will be at Chaotic Wrestling again uh, March 29th. Um, I also plan, uh, this is kind of, I guess, a... a public announcement for this. Um, I'm actually planning on going back to the West Coast uh, this month. Uh, March 20th, I will be going to um, uh, San Francisco, California. I will be participating in a tryout hosted by West Coast uh, Pro. Um, they're hosting a tryout for Marvelous Wrestling, which is a company in Japan. Um, and I've been being there for about uh, four days. Um, so uh, I'm going to go out there and, uh, you know, show them what I got and hope for the best. Um, really excited for that trip. Hell yeah. Sounds like a fantastic um, opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And not to mention that there's some great fishing in San Francisco as well. 100%. All right. So the best way to get merchandise right now is to meet you in person, correct? Yes, at shows. Okay. Well, you don't have to type it into your Google machine. All of the links to all his social media will be in the description of the video below, but on YouTube and CastBox, simply click the link. A new tab will appear on whatever device you are on. You have no excuse. Give him a damn follow. And if you see him in person, buy a damn short. course thank you for listening if you like what we're doing please like subscribe comment put on youtube and cast box um if this was a part of our uh wrestling with madness weekend um you know uh, following the leading up to wrestlemania uh 40 um night one and two um you can go back uh into our archives and listen uh to the rest of the week which uh, has an interview with um, Lizard Man uh, Nathan Niles and uh, Dark Horse uh, Zeke and Dino. Just realized we had um, lizards, uh, lizards, horses, and fish on our show. So all the animal kingdom. <laughs> nice. Um, and of course, follow the show at Wrestling with E, but on X, Dread, and Instagram for information on who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing them, links to those interviews, and so much more. And obviously, every Tuesday and Wednesday, new incredible interviews. Uh, and you can follow me personally at JamesJ993. 
right, uh, <laughs> see Bass. When I say wrestling wit, you say entertain. Okay. You got it. For our very special guest, Sebastian Seabass Finn, Calico Yacht, Scooter Dust, I am James J, and this has been Wrestling With Entertainment. Hey, folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Enjoy the show. Support these guys. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.